welcome back. Uh, this week um, it's front brake pads on the ST, uh, basically continuing the series on the ST. Uh, we've already covered the rear disc, rear pads, uh, we've had a uh, sorted out the coolant, we've done an oil and filter change, I've replaced the fuel filter, um, but now I need to concentrate on the front brakes. So uh, let's crack on, welcome back. Right, very similar to the Paradero brakes. Again, first we need to unscrew this one, unscrew that one. I've already loosened them off. Interesting to see the state of these, if it's anything like the rear ones. Obviously remember to keep these in order because obviously the bottom one is longer than the top one. Difficult to get off. There we go. Yep. Again, same problem as uh, what I found on the back. If you can see in there, is there's not much wear left on this one, plenty left on this one. So it seems to be the pistons again are sticking. I'd imagine it's going to be the same with this um, mounting bracket. She basically seized. So let's get these pads out. Obviously, I'll do exactly what I did with the back, just basically take it all apart, um, clean everything up, grease everything, try and get this bracket off if I can, grease the mountings. Nice and corroded. I'll drop the pads. Yeah, as you can see, thickness on that, thickness on that. All right, exactly as I've done with the rear on the front. Obviously, you pump the front brakes. These two, these two pistons come out. Pump the back brake. Middle one comes out. Uh, they weren't all coming out together. Uh, you can see quite a lot of dirt, so we're we'll giving a good clean up. Already you can start to see they're uh, starting to clean up nicely. There we go. Zoom in on that for you. As you can see, a lot better, a lot cleaner. So next thing I need to do now is push them back in again so I can clean the underside inside here. Uh, 
And that's the last one back in. So now I'm just going to give this a clean. There we go. Let's just zoom you in there. That's a lot better. So, same as before, pad pin, I'll just clean up. Right, just before I rebuild the other side, I just want to quickly take this caliper off because one thing I've noticed and as I say I'm very unfamiliar with STs and especially ABS systems when I reverse the bike it makes a hell of a clattering noise from the front end now I don't know that's because obviously the calipers are semi seized which is what I found on the other side whether it's supposed to actually make that noise so I just want to take this caliper off and then wheel it backwards just to, well, ease my mind, I suppose, in a way. Um, if it does make that noise, obviously, yeah, then uh, I will uh, consult mechanics or forums, etc., just to see if that's normal. So I've just started to undo the bolt. I've undone the bolt in the plastic on the top so I can actually get to it. So that's the long one out. So now it's just this small one here. Just ease the caliper off. Again, not as easy as I thought. Ah, there we go. Right. Yeah, as expected, that one's exactly the same. Now I just want to test my theory. I'm actually going to take it off the centre stand and see if it actually makes the noise. Right, so let's test it out. So they're now actually out of the way. doesn't actually move but with both calipers up and off and hung out the way the bike will not reverse let's give it one more try Well, at least that kind of answers the question, but uh, I still don't really understand it. But as I say, back to this side. Let's get some new pads in. All right, let's get in that, the actual bracket. A bit of clean up, much better. And again, same with the pad pin. So let's start reassembly. Alright, just going to grease the uh, 
mountain bracket points up. And again, the same on the one on the caliper itself. Basically, just slide these back in. There you go, as you can see, that's a lot easier now. So, in with the new, uh, new pads. Again, same as the uh, same as the back EBCs. In with the pad pin. And there we go. The last bit to do is grub screw. A little bit of copper grease. Right, that's ready to remount. Right, now back on with the caliper. Put a couple of grease on the top one. And that's that side done. Right, so that's the other side fitted. Um, I did find the problem, obviously I'd asked the question earlier that um, I'd taken both calipers off and the wheel seems to be locked and I couldn't actually move it, but when I had the calipers on, when I moved it back, it was clattering. Uh, well, as you can see now, it's freely moving. 
problem was obviously whoever had uh, done the pads previously hadn't put the ABS uh, it's bracketed into two holes it was only in one so it was hanging down and catching on the actual main cog that goes around the front wheel so that's all that's all back and working properly now um, as you can see it moves forward it moves backwards quite freely no noise no clattering so uh, I'm glad that's sorted so join me again in the next episode uh, I've got one more job to do before I start the rebuild of all the bodywork and that is to change the uh, shaft oil so join me again in the next episode thanks for watching cheers bye